Hi, this is Joshi. I guess many of uh, you uh, find it troublesome to find out whether that question is integration by parts or integration by substitution. And uh, it becomes a little scary in the exam when you have the integration sign and you don't know how to solve that. So in this tutorial we are looking at uh, finding out whether it's integration by parts or is it integration by substitution. I'll first use a, a, a list of questions to help you decide whether it's uh, integration by part or integration by substitution. So how to identify whether it is an integration by part or integration by substitution? A trick here which is quite easy to do is that most of the integration by uh, uh, parts has uh, something like e to the power something and an x sticking to that and when you want to different and when you want to take an integration by part you'll take uh, it in such a way so that such that you get rid of x so 99% of the time the question that you are getting in the exam uh, which has x multiplied by e to the power x and plus minus something this third question is uh, integration by parts and the others are integration by substitution but if you were to go one step up and check how to decide whether that's integration by substitution or not mm, let's look at that okay let's look at the first one here so all questions uh, uh, where we use integration by substitution will have the thing that we integrate outside the bracket so for example if you sorry we differentiate outside the bracket so if you differentiate x to the power 5 you will get something like uh, uh, 5x to the power 4 and you see here 20 20 can be broken down into 4 into 5 into x to the power 4 if you see here on the fourth example if you differentiate x cube you'll get 3x square and you see an x square here on the fifth example on your screen if you differentiate uh, 9x square plus 2 you'll get x if you see the last example on your screen if you differentiate x cube you're going to get x square so all these questions where you have a bracket or a division or some weird thing and uh, you have x or something x to the power something it's uh, uh, integration by uh, substitution other than that it's a uh, integration by parts let's come here to the second one it's a case where um, e is not there so if you differentiate x to the power just x plus 6 uh, then x goes so this is a case where uh, you have to use uh, integration by parts or you can just open this bracket up. So you can still open the bracket up in the first two questions if you, if you are bothered to use uh, integration by part or substitution. But for the last three questions uh, uh, you are stuck because you cannot do anything when something is the denominator. So just remember that when something is into uh, the numerator denominator then you can think on those lines and the questions of a differentiation it was easy that uh, if something was on the numerator and the denominator you could have used the quotient rule or the division rule so quick uh, recap any place where where there is something in a bracket and you differentiate that and you get something outside it's a uh, integration by substitution on the last question you see how he put uh, this whole thing 8x cubed plus 5 as u and this 72x square automatically became du so it became a very nice and easy integration so in any place where you have you differentiate the part in the bracket and you'll get uh, uh, the part lying around somewhere it's uh, integration by substitution so that is one way to differentiate it if we go to the book 
and see what we have in the integration bypass where they have explicitly mentioned us you see x plus 9 to the power 4 and x now if you differentiate this x plus 9 you're going to get uh, 1 but this is something else so this is uh, uh, integration uh, by parts again the same thing here this is not x square had this been x square minus 3 it would have been uh, a substitution case now uh, moving this one level up if you have something like 8x uh, divided by uh, x minus 7 you cannot use uh, integration by substitution had it been x square minus 7 then you would have used so here again you are going to use uh, integration by parts so whether in the division or the multiplication if something in the bracket that whole term uh, if if you differentiate it and you get something lying on top or on the left it's uh, uh, integration by substitution so if you look at the questions of integration by substitution this 7x cube minus 12 if you differentiate you will get like 21x square or whatever it's lying outside here 8x square minus 9 if you differentiate this block you will get uh, uh, I think 16x which is lying outside on the numerator and denominator again the same thing if you differentiate the denominator 5x to the power 4 minus 18 you will get the numerator so this is a rule which can help you identify which type of question it is because in the uh, book you are explicitly mentioned which question is integration by part and which is integration by substitution so that was all from my side thank you for listening